Heyo, it's me. I haven't posted a video here in a long time, have I? But here we go. Hello, my name is Black Hole and welcome to my channel, everybody. So I know why you're here and you have seen the title for this video. Tiger King reached out to me to review their sample pack. So if you guys never heard of them, Tiger King is a manufacturer that can create custom design merchandise such as acrylic charm and stickers. They reached out to me a few months ago and asked me if I wanted to try their sample pack. Now I have reviewed other company before, but this one I have never heard of them. However, they look to be a decent company. So I have a business conversation with them. After all that talk, I accepted their offer and they sent me their sample pack. So let's go and check them out everybody. So first we have a pencil case and honestly, I really do love the fabric feeling. It's very nice and I honestly love the way how the color looks. Very cleanful. Uh, let's check inside as well. The inside is very nice. I really do love that. Honestly, it's just a pencil case to me, but I really do love how it feels the fabric and it's very nice for pencils and art supplies for this one. So now we have a masking tape, or you may call them washi tape, which honestly I am just a fan of washi tape because I have a collection of them. I'm not literally kidding, I have so many, a lot of masking tape. So yeah, it's sometimes it could be my habit, but I, I only got these because they're Halloween, okay? I'm just a autumn Halloween fan. Let's move these to the side. But yeah, so this is a masking tape, this is how it's honestly look so let's try on um this one because that's the only thing I got okay let's see and there we go we got a very clear one if you put on any white paper or white stuff but honestly it's very nice I really do love the feeling of the Masking tape is very nice. Then glossy. Let me give you a closer shot. So this is how it look on close shot, and it is very nice. I'm very much sorry if my if the camera is shaking because it's holding where I am placing it. But honestly, yeah, this is very a very nice masking tape, and I was gonna get this one, but it was too much money and I didn't have that much money at the time so but hopefully nearby in the future I will get this one so let's move on to next sample next we have a heart manic keychain and I'm not gonna lie when I first saw these I really wanted to get them so badly but I didn't get them so I'm just happy I got the sample pack just to see up close so honestly, this is a regular acrylic charm and they honestly have different color for the hooks chain with that's good because I really do love different color for these and put the hearts match with them which that make it more very cute and plus the heart magnet go to your characters which honestly that's literally awesome idea for artists who want like a heart magnet with their characters. But I also like how it's moved the cut line is and it's very nice. And this is a holographic one of charm which that's pretty cool. But honestly this is like my favorite sample pack so far and I wish I could have gotten this one. But maybe for next time now, at least now I know how it looks. And they also have different color of hearts and chain. So yeah, I'll let you guys know that. So it's very nice, I really do love this one. So let's go to the next sample. Next, we have a bottle cap pin, and I'm not gonna lie, this is honestly very cute and very awesome merch. Like, I love the color, like you could do probably see me twin plant for the bottle cap. And the print design is very labeled, not like, not like you just put the design on there and just be like that, but it's very sealed and that's very awesome. So the back of the pin has these pins, so to be able to hold stuff which i'm not gonna lie i think it's very cool for this it feels like you can make this out of like disney up movie like like the pen with the grapes on it so yeah i really do like this one but yeah this one is very cool i love this one and i can think of any design for this one as well so very nice material next we have a pop phone gripper and honestly, I'm not putting, I used to have phone gripper back then, but I don't think I don't need them necessary. 
but honestly i really do love how this one is made so it's also holographic as well it's a star one and honestly i love the star one they're very cute and i love how it's basically designed sealed as well so this one is for like one of your phones like if you have a phone you pretty much put it on your back and then you able to hold your phone like stable and then does it fall off to your hand which honestly i think this is very cool and plus with your art design on this would be awesome as well so honestly i think this is very much cool i don't have anything to place on this so I'm using it but i think it's very awesome this one next we have a acrylic pin and honestly when i first saw it i noticed the back and it's one of those like they use the strongest glue stick on the back and then you got a pin to make it acrylic pin which honestly i'm mostly worried like the pin of this back will fall off not so stick on it but i honestly like how it turned out very nice and there's also a glitter on this acrylic pin with that's very like less glitter i'm seeing this one and could have been a lot more i think it's very nice simple and plus for a starting art merch like like you want a pin but you, you cannot think of any and you want to start out with this one with acrylic pin so honestly i think it's very nice but i do not know about the back one so it's very nice pin so let's move on to the next sample Next, we have a safe button pin, and which I'm not gonna lie, this is like my favorite so far because I love the feeling of this fabric. I like matte, that's why I love the matte feeling. I'm usually not a fan of glossiness or stuff, but I love the matte feeling of it, and the color is very clear and very nice. And the back of it, it has a pin in the back, so it's very much a button one. But this is a safe one, and the safe one is honestly a heart. It's very nice for the heart safe one, and I love this one so far. So honestly, this one is very nice. I really do love this one. Next, we have a second keychain. I've seen these a lot for many artists have these for like their design as a second keychain in which i think it's very much cool it's very sealed and it's very much inside and plus there are these little acrylic charms inside of the second acrylic chain which is very nice and also fun because you can shake anything like what inside of it i can probably think like so many designs for this one like for a funny machine like and you have like mini sodas on there or a claw machine like with a little pussy or teddy bears or dinosaurs or anything like that it's very nice and it's very smooth for this acrylic chain and plus i really do love the little things it's taking like if you ever feel like you're angry or sad you just want to sick them like but honestly yeah i really do love this one it's very nice so let's move on to the next one up next we have a phone wing charm i'm not gonna lie i didn't know what this was when i first saw this i was like what is this and there's like a wing to it so i did not know what is all of it until i'm thinking like it could be for phone wing or something like one of those a charm for your phone and i was white when i look at the list it was a phone wing charm i do not know about the wing why it just went on here in the first place but the charm for this one is very cute and it's also a semi twin plant so that's also very nice so if you have ever making like a charm they can do semi twin plant with that's honestly cool i really do love um the charm though but i do not know about the the wing i don't know what this wing honestly is for i think it's just for display or something so but honestly it's very nice a phone wing charm like i mostly just stick with the just acrylic charm for for this one up next we have a frosty acrylic keychain and i'm not gonna lie it's just the same thing with the a color acrylic charm one but this is a frosty one so it's very see-through like you can honestly see the your design everything and plus they don't do design in the back which that's also suck as well but i kind of do like like the feel of it but it's also one of those just a print label design like they just label it and then cut it but quasi charm isn't like my favorite thing it's like a, a least to me but i also like the the charm color for this one orange it's honestly very cute color for this one but honestly yeah this is just a um like a mid one to me but i do like how 
day leveling the design for this one. Next, we have a suit charm, which I didn't know what this was. I thought it was a pin at first. It's like one of those, if you have like a quark suit, and then you put these on there, and you got yourself a suit charm, which I think is very nice, and it's very small as well. I think it will fit for the quarks, but Sally, I don't have one of those quark suits, and I cannot put any on this one. But it's very nice, very small, very nice cut as well. So it's very good to charm for this one. Okay, now we're done with the sample. It's time for my merch. I'm so excited for this one, and let's see how they look. Here they are, my very own merch, and I do love how. They are made, it's so awesome, but there are a few problems and I will discuss them each by each. So let's talk about the charm. So first is my acrylic color charm and I love how this turned out because this is exactly the color I honestly wanted. But the problem is the print and I honestly asked them about the print and they told me the reason why and which is understandable about it but i feel like their print their printer could have done better for this and if they have a better quality this could have been my favorite perfect of it but honestly i really do love it so far it's very nice i also love the charm color it's very cute color it matched for me and i love how it came out but also very thin like this is honestly very thin so when i'm excited when i got this but i also did not mention about one thing because i actually ordered one acrylic color charm from a different company called folkways and when i first got them i was a little disappointed about the color so first off i saw the image and it was pink and i thought oh that's very cute color but once i got it i forgot it was photoshop image which means the image is not going to be matched with the charm will you be getting sometime so once i got my order and hear how it actually turns out yeah um i've also forgot to mention the way this design is very lighter it's because i use the rgb one for the file i didn't use the other one so honestly that's why it's light and plus this color charm is pink however it's pink light like it's almost close to the peach color which i'm not so happy about i wanted to be like the pink one from their image so i really do love their the charm color for this one it's very nice i really do love it but i also kind of disappoint the way how my design looked for this one which honestly i didn't know the file at the time so honestly here is a comparison for these two so you can honestly tell the difference from folkways and tigerkin so their cut has more wider than this one because this one has more extra area but this one has a little thin cut so it's very cool for tigerkin to do so look how they cut these but for folkways they leave extra space for it but also the two comparison about the charm is like folkways charm is thick and this one is very thin which you can honestly see the difference how they're very different the way how they cut them in layers and you can also notice the color of these like this is very pink than this one this is felt like a light pink then this one is very much like almost a color like a barbie color well not like a barbie color like it's more like a just a very pink color but also they have the chains i still love them i do love the pink for this one and i do love this one as well but i'm kind of disappointed the way how this look so honestly though like to compare for these two companies i would say i love the way how tiger can cut these lines it's very nice so this one goes to tiger can i really do like folkways print the color even though like i really do love tiger can print as well but if their printer could have done better for the coloring then it could have been my favorite and plus folkways one i accidentally did use a different file for this one so honestly this one goes for folkways and the way the layers was cut on these so 
I pretty much I pretty much like both of them. So either one of them is thin or thick, whatever. But I really do like both of them. And for their chain, I love the pink. I do. They have my color. So this one goes to Tigerkin. So yeah, either one like what you think is best for your acrylic color charm. Like, like which one you think is best? Let me know down in the comment. But honestly, I do like these both either way. So yeah, they're very much awesome. I also forgot to mention about the protecting screen on this charm. When I first opened it and I noticed it was weekly and I thought, oh, they have protecting screen on them. So pretty much I also noticed in the back as well, like the bubbling and the uh the cut scratching i didn't know why it's like that so i pretty much removed the screen and it was a protecting screen on it which i thought it's very it's very nice as well that it got a protecting screen on the back as well so that's pretty much cool for that except for folkways it did not have protecting screen in the front it did but i don't know about the back so i don't know but honestly I'm kind of happy they have protecting screen on the back and front so it does not get ruined. But honestly though, I really do love how these turn out. I just kind of wish their printer could have done better for the design color for this one. So let's move on to my next merch. Up next we have sticky note and which I'm not gonna lie, I have a sticky note collection. Like yeah, I have a sticky note collection of them. So it's honestly a habit. but. Yeah, I honestly love sticky note and I love how this came out, but the color of this I feel like I could have gone to second proof. Okay, because like when Tiger Can sold me three different proof of the sticky note and there were three different colors, so I didn't know which one was better and I decided to go on the first one and which I feel like I could have gone to maybe the second one. So honestly that's my fault Tiger Can. That one is my fault for this one, but I really do love how it came out, it's very nice. However, I noticed something was different about this because I noticed this edge on this cut line and I thought, did I do it like that? I went to go check on proof on the Tigerkin and turns out the area of the cut ones were wrong. So when I noticed that, I went to go check the other sticky notes and turns out I was white because the area of the cut line is different. Now you're noticing how the block of the sticky notes is, it's more this way, then the other one is going that way. So pretty much, I do not know, but I might do a split different price for these ones. But I do love how it came out, it's very nice, but I'm so disappointed about the way they cut the sticky note. But anyway, moving on, we're gonna review how how it will handle a pencil, pen, everything. Because I love to test them out how strong this paper fabric is. So now I have a sticky note ready and I put the paper underneath so it does not get wooden on my desk. So now we're gonna review pencil and pen because I honestly love to see how this paper is handled for these uh, marker, pencil, or pen, whichever you use on the sticky note. So I have a pencil, um, a Sharpie pen, Tombow bus, corpin marker, a regular Sharpie, a gel pen, and a Sakura pen. So pretty much these are the, the stuff I'm going to be using on a sticky note. So let's go and try them out. Alright then, now we're done with the pencil and pen. It's time to see the result. So let's see. Oh yeah, you can tell what pen and pencil can go through with this paper. So honestly, the um, for pencil is good to use, honestly. Sharpie pen, it's still, it's a very good still use. It still might go through depending how hard pressure you write, but it's still good use for Tompo book glasses. It's a good use. Yeah, it's very good use. And that's surprisingly for me because sometimes alcohol marker will go through things. So it's a very good use. Um, corporate marker is not that good for this sticky note paper. Sharpie is 
No Go, which honestly, I use Sharpie a lot and that kind of disappoints. Gel pen, which is honestly a very much a go through pen, but however, it's still good to use it still. At least it's not on a paper though, that's, which honestly, that's good. And lastly, we have a Sakawa pen. So it's a very much good use for the sticky notes. So honestly, after using all this, I'm pretty much happy how this paper can handle, but it cannot handle corporate marker and a Sharpie. So for these guys, you can able to use them. Even a Tombow plus, you can use it on this, which that's surprisingly soft. But hey now, I want to try using the pen style and let's see how it looks. Oh wow, it still did not go through. So honestly, that's very amazing though. That's very amazing. I'm honestly happy about it. It's very awesome, but I'm still disappointed about the way they cut my sticky note for this one. But yeah, I honestly love this though. Okay, so after we're done with the sticky note, it's time for to check out another merch, which I'm honestly excited. So let's go check it out. So the stickers was honestly hard because I could not think any idea and I used my energy for my art project. So I tried my best to look up something to give me firing something that can help me make a sticker. So when I thought about one artist and this artist's name is Crazy Club. She is amazing artist. You should check out her shop. I love all her stickers, her notepad, like everything because they are so awesome. And plus, I love her 90s merch, which it's so cute and I'm such a 90s fan. So I thought, oh, I should make a 90s something for my sticker. So I tried to think of some Something, what is my childhood what do I love the most and I thought about that one time when I wanted a cell phone and my dad took me to the phone company to get my first cell phone I didn't know what he'll get me I mostly thought I wanted like a iPhone or like any phone that's so cool to have games or something but when my dad got me the phone he got me a juke phone and which I thought it's so cool because this phone you flip the side it make you feel like you have one of those a comb bus to flip to make you look so cool or something like a juke phone was honestly my childhood but honestly I thought about it and I decided to make this one so yeah this is a juke phone my first cell phone so it was blue color and I I love how this turned out because it looks so awesome and I love how the cut line of the sticker they did and plus it's the matte sticker which is also my favorite as well. I love the feeling of this sticker of matte. It's so smooth and it's perfect. Also another thing I noticed is that my stickers are a little cut off edge which I pretty much noticed that and yeah I'm starting to realize I'm that per type of person where I will notice something is off my merchandise but I mean you can tell a little but not really but I'm still gonna put it on different prices for these two stickers anyway but I still love them okay I still love them. So honestly, I really do love it. And I already put one in my water bottle, so let's go check it out. So it's honestly the off-cut sticker I use, but I still love how it is. It's very stick on the hair, which that's very good. And I try to use on water on this, and it's very waterproof. So let me try to add in waters for this one. So let's see how waterproof it is, just to let you guys know. So I added water, as you can tell, it's still water on here. And let me wipe it off so you guys able to see it. And voila, it's still there. I do not know about hot water or like other drinks, which honestly, I feel like it might get ruined the pan. But just be careful using hot water on this. But I think it'll, it'll use hot water for this one. I think so. But not coffee because I think it will it will leave a stain and it will ruin. But I still love how this came out and I'm happy about it. But I'm still disappointed about the cutting area. But I still love it anyway. 
Okay, that's all the sample pack and my merch. Let's go to end of the credit. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with my merch, but I pretty much gonna give some away to my family and my friends for it. If there are still some left, I'm gonna try to sell them in the nearby future. But still, thank you so much to Tiger King for the opportunity to review your sample pack. I really love them and my merchandise. But except the stickers and the sticky note, you guys need to work on the cutting area. That's pretty much it. But all in all, I still love them. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave it down in my link in my bio and also mine as well. And I will see you guys in my next time video. Bye bye!